Now that's the gist of it. I'm going to quickly take in specifics. Joining me also on the telecast right now is Dr. Sujit Paul. He's the group CEO of Zota Healthcare Limited. Now, Dr. Paul, the last budget that was announced uh, by the finance ministry, there was a significant chunk that had been allocated to healthcare in India that was targeting the poor section, that was targeting the lower middle class. We talk about Ayushman Bharat, we talk about we talk about how there were these Ayushman cards that had been distributed. A significant chunk, like I said, that had been allocated to this scheme launched by the government of India. Can there be an increase that can be anticipated this time around? Uh, thank you so much for that. I think I think two critical things that we anticipate would definitely come out of, of this budget. One would be uh, enhanced uh, increase in Ashwin Bharat and uh, uh, more allocation on healthcare budget uh, in terms of the revenue allocations that would go through. Definitely this year we would see more allocations coming in which would penetrate India into much more rural, healthy India. That's what would happen this year, what we forecast and foresee. The other thing that would also happen in healthcare is that uh, a strong boost will come in terms of uh, manufacturing in India for, for the healthcare uh, medicines and products that would further uh, give enhancement to the push that the government is doing towards generic medicines because generic medicines is the way forward for India. Good quality generic medicines are what it should be and that's what the government is working on very strongly and that's what it should actually happen and that's definitely what, what would come out. Okay. Apart, from okay. that, apart from that, one last point, uh, would, what, what would happen is that there will be a huge index advantage that salaried people will get that will overall help in a much stronger healthcare ecosystem that would come ahead.